My mom just passed, and we found out that her bank account is going to have to go into probate. Okay. Um, before she passed, she was in the hospital, and she had a. There's quite a few bills there. Will the hospital be required? To, will we be required to use that money to pay for the hospital, or them have rights to that? And any idea account? how much money is in there, Frank? Uh, about eleven thousand dollars. Okay. So, Frank, um, if we have to do a probate on that. We will be required to give notice to all known creditors, doctors, hospitals, credit cards, etc. They will be allowed to file a claim in that estate. And as you might imagine, before you can hand out money to the kids, you must first pay all the valid claims. However, there is a list of priority as to who gets paid first. And Frank, at the very top of that list is attorney's fees, court costs, and executor fees. Number two on that list is funeral expenses. So, Frank, realistically, by the time you get done paying attorney's fees, court costs, executor fees, and funeral expenses, there's probably not going to be anything left over, Frank. So that's the good and the bad news. The, the good news is the hospital is going to get, not going to get paid. The bad news is that your mom only had 11000 bucks. Well, it, it was sad, but, you know, she worked it out, you know, so that's the way it is. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Frank, if you need some assistance with that, Olson Law Group would be pleased to assist you with that probate. Frank, you can always reach the Olson Law Group uh, through our website, olsonlawgroup.com, or call us anytime, 407-423-5561. Tom, I want to mention something about the caller earlier about that, the the bank account for mom with that 11000 in it. I have recently... We, of course, we talk with people all the time with those bank accounts, but I would say that more recently, as in in the last few months, I've had more than ever where there are mom or dad passed away and they forgot about a bank account. So it's a similar situation where there was 15000 in it or there's 20,000 or there's 5,000 or there's 15,000. The point is mom or dad took care of everything else, thought they had everything taken care of, but there was that one outstanding bank account. And people I know are very surprised then what they have to go through Mm -hmm. to be able to get that money. Even as recently too, I think more than ever, that I'm hearing from these same people that man, the minute that they know that mom or dad passed away, they're not even going to talk to you right. about the bank account. So they're finding it frustrating because they can't even get information. And then more frustrating because everything else was taken care of. But now they have to go through probate. It is frustrating for people. I had a lady emailing me last week and her mom had passed away and the mom had $1,100 in the bank account. And number one, eleven hundred dollars is a lot of money. Oh, it is to some people. Oh and number gosh, two, no, it is. It's just a bad feeling to know that that eleven hundred dollars is locked up. It's never going to be released. It's going to be correct. there forever and ever. And simply because mom forgot to make that account POD payable on death to the daughter. Exactly. The emailer had already said, yeah, "I called down to the probate court. They told me the filing fees alone were three hundred forty-five dollars." There you go. So you just can't afford to probate an eleven hundred dollar bank account. And that's just. Like you say, frustrating to people. That's correct. And that's why, just as a reminder to listeners out there, and that is that you want to be able to help mom, dad, help your, the elderly relatives, as well as just for everybody, making sure just double check all of those accounts. Because I think one of the ones that they actually forget mostly is the checking account.